Hi everyone and happy Halloween. Welcome. My name is Kostas, owner of Mishu Academy and the Noble Shoe. And today we've got a special video for you where we're going to talk about group made to orders. Coming up. So what exactly is a group made to order? A group made to order, first of all, is a way for you to express yourself a bit more, find a design that you like and customize it more to your liking, for example, changing the color or changing the leather. And the way this happens is you find a small group of like-minded people when you agree into a design or a design has been agreed from the shop and it gives you a lot of options. For example, are you going to change the sole? Are you going to change the leather? Are you going to change the color? Pretty much you make something that you really want and usually it has to be a design that is not really publicly available or just available for the average consumer. Just like these really nice Carlos Santos field boots, but not just any field boot, it has a split toe. How does this process work? Well, it depends from manufacturer to manufacturer, but group made to orders and generally made to orders can take <laughs> up to 12 or 13 months if you go and try to get something from Edward Green, for example. However, a generally good time, a delivery time, tends to be about eight to 12 weeks, so about two to three months, maybe a little more depending on the season. It really varies, and especially during now uh, COVID times. But about three months, I would say, is a really good turnaround. And usually, as I said, group made orders really need a minimum amount of people that need to join so the makeup can happen and there is no short charge etc for the noble shoe for example i usually set it at around six group made warriors can go through with five sometimes with four but six i think it's a pretty good and reasonable target and so far we have uh, exceeded all of them and i'm very glad to present to you this kind of boot today i think i'll be doing a bit more these kind of videos because not only it allows you to see a sample of the finished product, but also gain a better understanding of how the process works. So how it would work is you would go into the group made to order section, for example, at the Noble Shoe, and you would uh, choose your preferred model. And then using the sliders, you would choose, for example, one of the two NT patinas, or if there's uh, an option for a Scots grain instead of calfskin, uh, usually the sole and the last are fixed uh, by me. Uh, I take a lot of time to curate and decide on the makeups, such so, as so example these, which was an older makeup, but we changed the sole, we changed the, the last, and then now it looks better than ever. Uh, after that, uh, you also choose your sizing, or of course you can contact me or every respected shop for sizing advice. Uh, you pay normally and then you just wait for the delivery of your shoes and uh, the delivery is uh, really exciting Especially at the moment that uh, you receive something Personal that not everyone has so group made orders are some of my favorite things and uh, I usually upload about two every month they last about 30 days and uh, It's it takes some time it takes some effort to come up with uh, really wonderful designs or unique ones so I plan to have a future series where uh, maybe once a month I show you what's uh, what's a group made to order now, which is live, and if I have already a sample, showcase it to you. Which we're going to do today with this. Let's get to it. All right, so welcome to my couch. And here we go up the group made to order I talked to you about. This is a sample of a Carlos Santos 9380 split toe boot and what it really is is pretty much you take the classic field boot derby design that you have from the other field boots uh, the Galway let's say from Edward Green and then what you do is pretty much you put it an apron here and a split toe now this particular split toe and you can get a good feeling for the four for five last year it doesn't really have what you say like a visible split here but it's under skin stitched and it's really hard to see because it's so well made and i really like this design this particular color uh, which 
course it's a studio here so the color is not exactly how it would look like it's very dark burgundy deep burgundy the closest to the burgundy i've seen from carlos santos and it's called bordo shadow this particular model is available in 19 more patinas and i've it, it fascinates me. I think that this one looks really good and is very versatile and you can wear it with a lot of different things. Now, as I said, so first of all, this is a field boot. You could call it a jumper boot, ankle boot, whatever. And the difference here is not just the split. Uh, also, usually the field boot last is the 316, but this is the 445. It's, what I would say, more elegant shape. A mix between round and soft almond. Uh, I think it's perfect. Also, surprise, surprise, look at this. So, usually, what do you see? Leather sole or dynite, right? In this case, I chose a slightly more rugged sole. Uh, it's a Ridgeway. It's called a Ridgeway. It has a more distinctive pattern here. It's actually quite comfortable and I might find it a little more durable than dynite. Uh, you can see here how thick it is. I think it looks pretty good. What do you What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, specifically on your foot, this will look fantastic. Whether you wear it with uh, a pair of jeans, a chinos, and actually I've worn it with uh, the suit that you see right now. So you can be as adventurous as you would like. So when it comes to this and uh, usually sizing, I, I now have a, a lot of data from previous customers. So from about 2000 customers over the last 12 months, uh, which is uh, quite sizable. And uh, for the last 10 months, we've been using this last, the 445. And most of the clients have begun to tell me that it feels a little roomier around the forefoot and they would probably benefit from sizing down half. Uh, generally, from all the last that I've seen from Carlos Santos, I would size down half on all of them, apart from maybe now the 387 and 389, which fit uh, rather true to size. Uh, and for loafers, uh, if you could plan to go sockless, definitely go half size down. The other last uh, feel quite roomy, I would say, and sizing down half will solve every problem and they will fit perfectly. So the price for this boot is $329.99 and the group mate order closes on November 15th, I think. And uh, we have already pretty much reached the goal. So whoever joins, you're more than welcome. And delivery should be expected, I would say, around January, uh, February 2021. Uh, hopefully it will come earlier and be an early gift. And I really hope you enjoy it as well as the other split toe derby that is currently live on the shop. As I'm still moving and I got my new office and everything now, I am also in a more transition period, so making a video depends. So you will see the background change a lot, uh, the lighting until I figure it out. I will probably start shooting in my office soon, and unless you like this uh, setup. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, please consider subscribing and uh, pressing the notification so you don't miss a video. Let me know what you think. Talk to me about the, the audio, the makeup. Uh, I don't know if you like my suit or if you like that, uh, I don't know, Thanos uh, snapped my hair and my beard yesterday. Um, I also uh, found very interesting the fact that some of you really liked uh, the jokes and some of you started sending me uh, your own jokes. And since it's Halloween, today I've got a special for you, which was sent to me by Mr. Frank. So why did the skeleton not go to the dance? Because he had nobody to take with him. <laughs> this one is on Mr. Frank. If you have an equally bad joke, please write a comment, send me a text, send me an email, and give me your worst. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.